Doris Mosley is our resident trichologist. A trichologist is someone who's an expert on the hair and the scalp, how it works, how it grows, how it is inflamed, how to help repair it. She's an instrumental part of our executive team. In fact, she is one of the formulators that has really assisted our hair care line to launching. With over 48 years of experience, the founder of the Spectrum International Business Expo, excuse me, Beauty Expo, Doris F. Mosley. Doris, are you out there? I'm here, yes, I am there here. You go. There you go. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good and I know that you wanted to talk to us about the hair loss epidemic. And so we are ready to hear your wisdom on that and how us helping to uh, bring on some of our plant-based eating yes. and some of our uh, focus on health is going to assist. Go ahead and take it away, ma'am. Kathy, first of all, I just want to say to each and every one of you guys, I am so excited to be here today. I was with COVID and it was not good. I, all I'm going to say is thank God for Wakana. I had the products to assist me through this. Also, I was vaccinated. So if you're not vaccinated, please reconsider because it saved me. And Kathy, thank you for being such an awesome person through this while I was going through this. And I'm still not totally out of it, but I'm excited to be at this level. And yes, hair loss is just like this pandemic that we're in. We're in an epidemic with hair loss. There are over 100 million people losing their hair. That's a lot of people. 55% of them are said to be men and 45% of women and children. And let me tell you, I think it's that men are more reported uh, because they don't have the cover-up that women have. But they are getting into more uh, men cover-up. But uh, I think that's one of the challenges. The medical term for baldness is alopecia, and there's three known types. There's alopecia areata, and this happens when one or more circular bald patterns occur, and, some, and sometimes they overlap. Then we have alopecia totalis. That's when there's no hair on the entire head, and sometimes the eyelashes and the eyebrows are affected. Then you have alopecia universalis. And that means there's no hair over the entire body. Now, we are born with over uh, 5 million follicles, and uh, over 100,000 of those make it to the head. So we have to be very protective of those follicles. And then we have um, andro androgenetic alopecia, and that's the male pattern baldness and female pattern baldness. I'll just share with you a little bit. Male pattern baldness is when it starts in the center and works its way to the hairline. And female pattern baldness, it starts in the center, work its way, and we still keep a hairline most of the time when there's female pattern baldness. So we have to be very, very protective. And that's why uh, Wakana came with the product that they came because it was protecting that follicle. Alopecia areata, again, is the patch of hair loss. Traction alopecia, just like it sounds, traction. It is where the hair has been stressed, the follicles have been stressed by pulling, braiding too tight, sewing too tight, however you do it, it is too tight. And um, it's from hairstyling techniques. And are you familiar with the term follicle hysterectomy? Yes, yeah, some hair loss is permanent. And no matter what you do, once that follicle is dead, it's not returning. And this, here's the types of hair stresses. We have chronic, chronic, mean that it's happening all the time. Some people have chronic illnesses. Traumatic. Traumatic illness is trauma. It could happen all of a sudden, or it could happen two or three months down the road. It all depends on what the trauma was. And then braiding. You don't have to braid so tight until it causes stress to that follicle, and eventually no hair is there. If you're looking at the picture to the left, that's what you have. That's traction alopecia. And then ponytails, you anchor your ponytail so tight in that area, you're going to end up having hair loss. Aggressive brushing and combing. Brushing and combing is stimulating to the scalp, but excessive can be too much, okay? Too much excessive brushing, because brushing gives blood, <coughs> it stimulates the blood. So we want to have little of that, but not excessive. Traction alopecia, somebody did not love that lady on the left, because 
that didn't happen overnight. That was, uh, it progressed along. And why they didn't stop, I don't know. But that is called traction alopecia. She may never get some of that hair back. Reasons for hair loss, diet, stress. I mean, diet, we do yo-yo dieting. That's why Wakana has launched a program, you guys, if you don't know about it, get involved. Get involved because you are what you eat. Stress. We are living in some stressful times right now because of this pandemic. So it's how we deal with the stress is what happens. And hair loss is contributed to stress. Kids are stressing, pets are stressing, everybody's stressing right now. So let's uh, really be focused on and conscious of how we handle our stress. Medical, we have um, medications that we're taking. That's one of the things. And, and although we have to give you that disclaimer, we don't claim to heal, cure, or uh, diagnose, but we can say from testimonies, people are getting help through Wakana. Um, medically, you get all its medications and every medication, if you look on the package that you get from the pharmacy, there's some side effects. And the side effects cause you get on more medication. And after a while, you got a bag of medication, you don't know what is working. Genetics, it could be from mom, it could be from dad. It can be from both. And if it's from both, hair loss early, it can be uh, accelerated. So you want to look into your genes and see, did this come from my mama or did this come from my daddy? Environmental, how are you styling your hair? How are you treating your hair? Going out into the, to the air. Some people say, well, Doris, could you recurl my hair? After a couple of days, they have done whatever. I was like, no, I cannot recurl old dirty hair. I have to get enough shampoo in you and conditioning you again because I don't want to inhale what you have gotten out there from the environment. And, you, and certain styling tools are not good, but we have to know that. That's why I always encourage you to go to a professional to, to get service. And if you are a professional, then you know exactly what to do. Kathy is adjusting the stream because we have uh, something that is amazing, and that is our hemp powered hair. And Kathy, I was so excited to hear hemp powered hair made the top selling product of 2021. And that means that you guys are doing what needs to be done, and that is sharing. Hemp powered hair has at least 12 or 13 oils that is making a difference in our follicle and in our healthy scalp because a healthy scalp means you're going to have healthy hair. We have in there um, black seed oil. How many of you realize that if you have an itchy scalp, that black seed oil can help relieve that itchy scalp? Because if you are constantly digging in your scalp, you are definitely eventually going to damage that follicle. And the follicle lies 0.3 centimeters beneath the epidermis, which is the top layer. So we want to make sure that we are not causing damage to the follicle. Then we also have cinnamon in our uh, hemp-powered hair. And cinnamon uh, help with those uh, free radical, uh, uh, radicals that just running around giving havoc. It's an antioxidant. We have peppermint. Pepper, I love peppermint oil because it stimulates. It stimulates the blood circulation. And the blood is what nourishes the follicle to help promote healthy hair. So if you don't have a good blood flow, you're not going to have uh, good healthy follicles. It's going to eventually, because that's a part of the growing of our hair, uh, of our hair strand is through ACT, the antigen stage, which is a good blood supply. And it stays in there for about two to six years. And then you have the catagen stage, which blood supply began to leave it. And uh, that is about two weeks. Then you have the, the, um, intelligent phase, which is fallout. You're going to have some fallout, but guess what? Our clove that's in our hemp-powered hair help slow down that process. See, hair go grow through those three phases, but you're going to have some shedding. That's the natural, but you don't want excessive shedding, and that's where clove come in at. Then you also have lemon oil. Lemon is an antiseptic that help cleanse. You got to have clean pores, and in order to have clean pores, 
that helps get out the uh, toxic, meaning uh, we have our natural oil, which is our sebum, and sebum comes, each strand of hair, there's a sebaceous gland attached to it, and that helps bring in the natural oils, but it won't get out unless the pores are clean. That's where well, our lemon oil is in our hemp-powered hair so we can have a good antiseptic to cleanse those pores. Also, it allow our hemp-powered hair to get in to the follicle to help nourish the follicle. We also have, also have uh, wild salmon oil. Wild salmon oil, I'm excited about that. I love salmon, but I can't eat enough salmon to do what it needs to do for my hair. So it's in our hemp-powered hair. It's our omega-3. It helps keep that hair shiny. It helps keep that hair strong. And it keeps it on the head much longer. And that's why it grows six inches a year. Don't fall for that instant hair growth stuff that people be trying to sell you on. That's not how hair grow. Hair grow anywhere from a half an inch uh, a month. And that meaning that you're going to have your six inches if you if it remains on the head. Then we have our moringa. Moringa is a, a oil that is uh, just give you health, overall health. And that's important because a healthy body gives you healthy outcome. And when we do, do that, we know that we're going to have a healthy body, healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy nails. And that's important. And then we also have uh, in our hemp-powered hair, we have CBD. You heard Kathy talk about that a few minutes ago. CBD brings the body back into balance. And that's what you want. You want it to bring the body back into balance. You also have pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed is good for inflammation. You hear Dr. Rita talk about it. Dr. Rita says uh, inflammation is not good for nothing when it comes to the body. Also, rosemary oil. Rosemary oil help block DHT. And you've heard me talk about DHT. DHT, it brings havoc to the follicle. It wraps itself around the follicle. And what happened? It chokes out the nutrients. So if I put my hand around your neck and choke your neck and keep choking you, eventually you will die. And that's exactly what happens. So we have all those oils. And I always say those oils are like a chain. They are bound together. They are very tight. And uh, you, it's hard to break a chain. So I'm excited about hemp-powered hair. It's a process. And how do you use it? You're saying, well, Doris, how do you use hemp-powered hair? If it's that awesome, it's that awesome because it worked for me. You put it on your scalp at least three times a week where you are uh, lacking in that area where you challenge. You put it in there, you massage it upward in the area, and then you put it under your tongue three times a week, at least twice a day of that three times a week, in the morning and at night, and you wait at least 60 seconds before swallowing. But that will definitely make a difference. And you have to be committed. You know, most people are not committed. You gotta be committed. It's not an overnight process. It's not even a guarantee. But I can tell you, if you use it and continue to use it, you will see some progress. And I'm only speaking for myself and people that I've heard saying how it has done, what it has done for them. Then I said to Melissa, and we have a CEO that is amazing. I said, we got to bring in the system. We got to give hemp-powered hair some support. And guess what? The SO system was formulated. And Kathy, when I tell you that has been an amazing run for me, because we have our renewal shampoo, we got to have a shampoo that hydrates, a shampoo that cleans, because you have to get all the buildup off the hair. You got to get to the cuticle layer so you can get the natural shine. And that's what the Renew and Shampoo, it has ginger root oil. And ginger root oil stimulates the hair follicles, promotes hair growth, strengthen the strand, and restore the moisture. Hair is made of moisture and protein, and you gotta be able to balance those two out, and that's important. Then we go and look into the fact that we have our styling, our moisturizing conditioner. Our moisturizing conditioner and before you put conditioner on the hair, you guys, make sure you towel dry the hair. Get all the excess um, water off, all excess moisture off, because 
we have organic lavender flower water already in our uh, moisturizing conditioner. And it's anti-inflammatory. Like I said, Dr. Lee, we talk about inflammation all the time. It elim helps eliminate the itchy and dandruff. And sometimes dandruff is disguised with a product left on the scalp. But what you look at is dandruff, it's accelerated skin growth. And if you don't get it off, it will definitely clog the pores. And it keeps the sebum under control. We don't need excessive amount of sebum coming but we do want to bring our natural sebum out. And then we have um, our romaine chamomile flower water, and it helps with irritation. Some people have sensitive scalp, that helps with that. And when Wakanda was bringing this product to the forefront, they thought of a whole lot, and they wanted to make sure that you got what you needed in the process. And I am excited about that. And we have our detangling conditioner. Let me tell you, that has saved me in a lot of areas because some people, their hair tangles up and you be popping it off, trying to comb it out. And remember, hair tangles towards the end, not towards the scalp. So when you towel dry the hair really good, you spray the detangler on and it breaks that loose and combs out so easy. And it has the the uh, organic jojoba seed oil, which is a moisturizer, rich in vitamins and mineral, minerals that nourishes hair, including vitamin C, B, E, copper, and zinc. It's amazing. I mean, I have had clients, the last client I had that I had to use the detangle on, she had a weave in for six months. Now she wouldn't have done that on the norm, but she's been very ill. So can you imagine six months of hair that didn't get off her head, that stayed in the braid? Although you may have a stationary hairstyle, but the hair that's going to shed did shed, but it didn't get out. So for six months, time, possibly 100 strands a day, I had to deal with. And let me tell you, I wanted to resign, retire, and relax. But I knew I had our Wakanda Detangler Conditioner and I sprayed it on. And that was the biggest tip I think I've gotten in a long time from a client. It also has black seed oil. It maintains the scalp health. And she was excited. It seals in the moisture. It thickens the hair and relieves itchy scalp. And she was real excited. Then we also have our moisturizing cream. Now, some of you said, the styling cream, that's in such a smaller jar. I want to, is, is that really going to work? But you know what? That small little jar feels like a dime among a lot of nickels. It's amazing. You just need a little, rub it in your hand, it emulsifies, and then on the towel dry hair again, you rub that through. You can either wet set, you can either blow dry, however you want to style it. That is one of the products that help you in styling. Then we have our oud oil. Our oud oil slipped in because we do a lot of thermal on the West Coast. And I was like, we gotta have something that can buffer that heat when it comes to the hair. Oud oil was originally formulated for skin, but guess what? Hair is an appendage of skin. So I said, let me just do some oud oil testing on hair. Amazing, you guys. It's light, it's not heavy. It's not gonna weight your hair down. And it's gonna do the job. It buffers the heat. And so your hair stay healthy, it stays thick and it stays full. And that's what you want when it comes to uh, when it comes to healthy hair. You want to be able to balance that protein and moisture, and you want to be able to keep that hair shiny and looking great. So I, I share with Kathy, I said, Kathy, you know, we we launched the flat belly lifestyle. We we launched the um, vegan lifestyle. I said, now we need to share with the audience some things, some, some food that they can eat. We also test in the blood to see what blood type you have to make sure you're eating for your blood type. And I just want to tie in some uh, food that is going to help your hair even as you go plant-based. And I am excited because I found a place here, Catherine, California, to have the best plant-based food and as soon as I get off this Zoom, I'm going to get me some. 
I'm excited about that. So uh, healthy hair through your plant-based eating, even if you just go for the first month to see how it does. Because, you know, we have to sample stuff. We got to make sure it's going to work for us. And the food that I'm getting ready to share with you, make sure you check your blood type to see if that's good for you. And if not, what can you substitute it with? Because sugar is one of the things that we need to get rid of. And I can't say it enough. And sugar is one of my downfalls and it's not definitely not good for me. So we have to get rid of the sugar because sugar uh, will help, will, will really hinder your body from getting the protein that's needed. And that's not good because our hair needs protein. That's what it's made of. It's made of protein. So we want to encourage you to, uh, we, were, we are encouraging you to go vegan. And I've been hearing the testimonies of people who are going vegan, how they are doing, how excited, how they are feeling. And so I'm going to say, let's all get on board. Try it and see if it makes a difference in your life. See what blood type you are. And whatever blood type you are, eat for your blood type. But I'm going to share some food. Um, let's start with the tangerine. Tangerines are very good food to take on because it helps with the iron. Now, and also vitamin C. Kathy is showing you something out, but you can uh, go on to the website and get that. Am I right, Kathy? Yes. Uh, wait a minute. I don't think you can hear me. Yeah, you can, I can hear you. Yes. You can, you can go on okay. the yes, yes. website and get the, what's your blood type? First, you got to find out your blood type. But and you can I'm go just... to you can go to Walmart. You can buy a blood typing kit. If you're local to Chicago, you can uh, schedule a scan, which would include a blood typing test. Uh, it is something that you can purchase on Amazon or on Walmart for about ten dollars or less. Oh, um, but it's really great to know what you're in. The uh, Rh factor, the negative and the and the plus is not as important because the type of blood you have is the main thing o a a b or a or b so okay. that's what i'm showing you right now is some of the things that have to go with those specific blood types and as i scroll down you'll be able to see some of the things that you'll find on flatbellylifestyle.com uh which would be like the uh this is the grocery list that allows you to be able to really shop for your family if you know their blood type you'll know that um all of those ones that don't have any red writing by them they're good for everybody and didn't you just mention nectarines i'm sorry Tan or tangerines tangerine, tangerine okay. which is good in vitamin c and it makes it easy to absorb the iron and that's what we need our body need iron because a lot of us are iron deficiency and mm -hmm. then also strawberries are very good they're antioxidant they help get rid of those free radicals and you know when you know about free radicals you know it could be causing nothing but challenges in your body and so it's good that and plus the strawberries are good for for your keratin that's your protein and it help also produce the vitamin c then we look at oak which is good for iron zinc and omega-3s also oak milk is good as a substitute especially if you're going vegan oak milk is good and then avocados that i mean avocados are just absolutely it's a healthy fat. It's the omega-3 rich in biotin, one of the best food and helps prevent breakage because it is a, a, a fatty uh, oil. It's a healthy oil. Then we also let broccoli. You notice most every restaurant you go to, what are the side vegetables? Broccoli is one of them. And it's, it's, most, it's very good nutrient and rich food, including vitamin C, B9, iron, and zinc. Zinc is one of the things that I took a lot of and still taking it through this COVID ordeal. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are vitamin A uh, for scalp and hair. And remember I said your hair is an appendage of your skin. It stimulates your scalp to produce sebum. Sebum, again, is coming from the sebaceous gland that is attached to the hair strand 
which is the follicle it's coming out of. And that makes a difference. And some people may not like sweet potatoes, so they can substitute for carrots. Carrots also has a lot of benefits. Spinach, now that is like a hit it out the park type of vegetable. High in iron, great zinc, and um, it, it's just amazing that it has such stimulation also for the sebum. It's, it's like one of the superstars because you have kale, all your green vegetables are really good, but there are certain blood type can have certain things. So you're going to have to really, if you're getting on board with Wakana and they have put out there for 1 million people uh, to come on board to find out what their blood type is and to eat according to their blood type and Wakana has the product to go along with it. Like when I was down with COVID, I was uh, gifted, I'm telling you, I have a, a, a system for fighting this COVID through Wakana and it was amazing for me too. And then also peanut butter. I love peanut butter. And if you take two spoons of peanut butter a day, that's about 10% of your daily vitamin E, you guys. So if you don't, if, if you don't like peanut butter, try it again. I, I mean, I can eat it right off the spoon. Very good. And then your chia seed. That's another one good in omega-3s and has protein, calcium, phosphorus, and it's good for hydration. How many of you drink in the water that you need to drink at the end of the day? Half of your body weight in ounces. How many of you doing that? You can take those chill seed and put it over your salad. You can put it in water and drink it. It's your choice, but make sure that you are getting this because I have a friend, I don't know whether he's on the line. He said, Dara, some people eat for, you gotta eat to live and not live to eat. So he gets on me all the time. He said, you just can't, it may not taste good, but it's good for you. And then mushrooms, uh, they have zinc. It's an, they're antioxidant, great meat substitute. If you're not eating meat, in which we're doing the plant-based right now, you can do mushrooms. Mushrooms give you that texture that you are eating meat. And we have great seasoning with Wakana. Cassie, Kathy, I have my seasoning, so I'm enjoying it. And you guys can get the same seasoning and, and experiment with it to see what you like on what type of food that you're cooking. Then we have the barley, which is protein and fiber, vitamin E again, and it reduces hair loss. This is our focus. We want to save our strands. And in order to save our strands, we have to know what to put in the body so we'll know what's coming out of the body. Because you can't plant tomatoes and go looking for apples. you got to put in what you want to come out. And that's important. Then we also have the lentil. And a lot of people eat the lentil soup. I know if Kim is on this line, she loves lentil soup. And it's good for iron. And it's a good soup to make. You can put a lot of those things together and make a soup. And, and just know that we got to make the difference. Wakana is making a difference. We need to get on board with Wakana. And we need to make sure we all come up together, healthy, live longer, be stronger. Hair got to be intact. We want to fall back in love with our hair. Now, I had an incident. I passed out on the sidewalk and knocked a hole in the back of my head. And I'm just praying through my Wakana, yeah. I will get my hair back. It, right now, it's not there. But I'm sure it's going to come back. I'm just believing with what I'm doing, my hair is going to come back. In the back here, right here, if, you, if you're looking at me pointing, it's right here. It's a, it's a hole there. And I'm praying that my hair come back. But I just want you guys to get on board. I want you to share this. You don't keep this a secret. We're kind of putting too much in it. Our CEO, our, our team of, of C's, they are doing too much to make it happen. Kathy, I adore you, girl, for what all you do in making this happen. And every Monday, this call should be so many people on, we can't take them on. We want to save our strands. We want to save our health. I can be bald head, but I want my health too. 
No, you will not be bald headed because <laughs> you are the one that's helping us all take care of these and save our strands. So now what you want to be able to do is I want you to take some pictures of your area of injury. Yes. I because know. I think that that's going to be really important. Just like you did before, you took those pictures yeah. of the of the CCC you had going up there. This is an injury caused baldness, right? Because yeah. you had to have stitches. It was right? trauma. It no, was trauma. The, the stitching part came back. This was another incident. I pat that was a fall, but this was a uh, this was a, a passed out. I passed out out on the sidewalk. I Is this a, the one you were telling me about when you were taking some boxes in or something? Yes, and you passed yes. out. Okay, I passed and, out. And did you end up bleeding from that area? Was it a cut? I didn't even know it was like this. I, my dentist took a picture and told me to go to emergency. Oh. Yes, I went on back in and went to work. And, oh and it, at the end of three clients, I went to the dentist and he said, Doris, you need to go to emergency because he took a video and showed me. I didn't even know it was that bad. Now I'm going to take a picture and show Please. you what is happening. And I'm praying because I'm feeling like slickness. So I'm praying that that is hemp powered hair is going to do its thing. I hope so. We'd really like to know about that. I'm going to have a little perhaps, take a picture. Perhaps your dermatologist can give you some more information she as did. far as what's going on so you have an idea of what your possibilities are. She did. So, she wow. Did. Listen, talk about being a product of the product that you help invent. That's awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, everyone, you know, uh, uh, there's been a lot of information that Dara's covered today. And so if you have any questions, let's go ahead and get those answered now. And again, Kathy, I was so excited to hear Hemp Powered Hair among the top selling products. I'm telling you, I I'm so telling excited. you, it really did do it. It did its thing. And I want you guys to continue to share. Again, we don't uh, guarantee, we don't diagnose, we only go by what you are telling us. That's but right. Hana does not say this is guaranteed. But when no. you call me up and you say, look what it's done for me, I Hello. can share that. That's I can exactly share what right. Done for me. You share a real story, right? Yeah. So you guys know that we cannot keep this a secret. I get so excited when I hear the report and I hear him powered hairs out there. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Yes, you know, yes. You're not you've, been a, you've been instrumental in making sure that that happens. And so I'm we excited. Appreciate you. We appreciate yeah. it. Let's see, yeah. any other, any questions in the chat? I don't I'll see any in the chat right now. But listen, this has been fantastic. Guys, don't forget that tonight is our corporate virtual party. This is where you as a distributor can uh, be highlighted. If you like this to be your grand opening, if you want 2022 to start off with a bang and you want this to be your 2022 grand opening, let us know. Let us know. Um, send an email to support at wakana.com and say, hey, I want one of these Monday nights to be all about me. I want to so showcase myself. Why would you do that? Well, it's a great way for, the, for your guest to celebrate you as a dispensary owner, number one. Number two, it's a corporate professional presentation that you haven't had to direct. You didn't have to come up with the Zoom out, Zoom thing. You'd have to, all you gotta do is invite. And we highlight and celebrate you. So give us some time to get it together. You know, maybe if you get it in really, really early today, but certainly we can make sure that it happens one of these Mondays that you can celebrate yourself or someone on your team that's reopening their business. And so use it because it's a great way to be able to showcase the company, the products. There's even an infusion segment as well as going through the compensation plan with Pastor Dan. So there's a question on the chat. There's a question. Oh, there is. Okay, excellent. I don't see one on the chat. Yeah, I read it. They're asking if you can use the SOS system for pressing. I'm sure you're saying pressing and curling, and absolutely yes. How in the world am I not able to see that? Let's see. 
Yeah. Oh, there it is. All mm -hmm. right. Is that the question again? I do see it. Yeah, from Robert. Uh huh. Yes. And you said that you can use it now. How how specifically would you be talking about the oud oil or the oud oil? Yes, it's like after you blow dry the hair, or if you wet set in the hair, you can put it in your foam or your setting lotion. And if you blow dry it to press and curl, or th we call it thermal texturizing now, then you can put a little and run it through the hair. Not a lot. You don't need a lot and run it through the hair and go on and thermal texturize, or if you call it still press and curl, press and curl. So if you had to thermal texturize with um, the styling cream, the detangler, or the oud oil, is there one of those that you would use in, in preference over the other? I would probably use all three. Okay. Because the, the detangler helps me to comb through that hair. Okay. Easier. The styling cream, just add a little more moisture and I won't use a lot because you don't need a lot. And then the, the oil is like the finale. The oud oil is like the finale. Okay, excellent. What are fairy knots? How do I combat fairy knots? What are fairy knots? I don't know what fairy knots are, so I'm asking you. You asking me or the person? The person is asking, how do I combat, combat fairy knots? And I'm asking the person, knots at the end of the strands oh, oh okay. okay i didn't I, know that's what you call them go on I, I, didn't, I didn't either kathy but what you can do if you got tangles at the end of the string just towel dry the hair again go close in on the knots and spray it and then start from the outer perimeter of it don't go behind the knot go in front of the knot and just slowly work it out without breaking off the hair anymore because you will really break pop the hair because hair is at its weakest when wet. So gotcha. you want to go in front of the knot and comb it out and work it out and you'll be fine because it doesn't tangle towards the scalp. Hair tangles towards the... Uh, so take that detangler, spray it on that knot and start yes. below the knot and work yourself up. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. tell me something. See, when your hair is already just super nappy and knotted anyway, <laughs> you're not really combing through it. So knots is not a thing that we have to deal with in the lock world. And Kathy, um, guess what? What's that? You and I have on the same color. Do oh black and look at that. What? <laughs> I was in here doing some working out, trying to get my arms and well, that big back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gotta get right. <clears throat> but you know, uh, you yeah. kind of have started something, and that's a health movement from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. That's right. And let me tell you, we are going to be the greater ones for being a part of Wakana. That's how I see it. This morning, I was so excited. Six o'clock this morning, listening to Melissa. Yeah. I was like, my God, this woman is amazing. This company is going places nobody has ever gone before <laughs> and i'm so happy to be a part of it um uh, uh, my mentor wanted to know if you've tried the monk fruit natural sweetener are you asking ma because you have not or are you making a suggestion they said it's really good i suppose be getting some from the health oh you must try it you must have it suggestions okay give me a second uh, Doris, uh, I'm going to get them uh, my uh, my uh, bag and I'm going to show it to them. So give me a moment, okay? Okay. If you guys have any questions, put it up. I can still see the questions come up on the screen. Uh, I use it all the time now. Oh, good. I'm going to get some. My uh, herbalist told me to get some of that the monk fruit is instead of sugar. Sugar is not good for us. It's not good for me anyway. I'm a, a type 2 diabetic. So it's definitely not good for me. All right. So oh, wow. here we go. Monk fruit is amazing. This is what I use. Lacanto monk fruit sweetener. Golden is the best. And I get it. This is a, a three pound bag. It's zero net carbs, glycemic, calorie, no calorie, keto approved. You get it. I get mine from Amazon. Cause I can't, you can't find a big bag like this anywhere. Um, so, so I, I got it from Amazon and had it. Hey, yep, I got a big bag from Amazon and they sent it right to your house. Oh well, I'm gonna have Lily to order me some. Yep. Well, she's the Amazon queen. 
Somebody said, oh. Monica, you get yours from Amazon too? Okay, excellent. Yep, Amazon. That's right. That's right. Okay. So that's where I get mine. I have it replaced in my uh, container. I had uh, family over this weekend. They were sweetening their coffee. Not everybody drinks a flat belly coffee. Of course, you know, they got to, they got to buy a cup of coffee from me when, <laughs> when I have mine. So I just happen to have this, um, this, uh, 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 thing where I I can do coffee on one side and then the water on the other. I show you what I'm talking about. But where I keep my Amazon. Well, the the uh, you talking about the um, the coffee maker I have, or you talking the about container. the container? Oh no no, the, this container that I've got is right here. It's just this right here. It's just oh, a regular oh. old container like water. that. But you see, when they come over to the little, this is my. I don't know if you can see my little Cuisin art thing right here. But um, yeah, I can do water on one side and think, but everybody was out of this container. They were like, oh my God, this raw coffee. I mean, this raw, uh, I've never had raw cane sugar. It's awesome. They were thinking it was a raw cane sugar. Oh, they were just loving it and just seasoning their coffee and just enjoying that. And I ended up running out and this, the reason why this bag is out and in the, on the counter is because I ran out, I had to put the rest of it in there. So whenever going, well, where are you getting this sugar from? Where I've never seen sugar in a red bag because it ain't sugar. Oh that's wow. why. And so <laughs> the spelling miss all over the place because half of the uh half of my visitors did not know what raw, I mean what monk fruit was, and the others had a bad taste in their mind about something that was healthy. And so they were all wrong. Glad to prove them wrong. Wow. Could we yes, see the package sure again? you can. Here's the package again. Lake Canada. Monk fruit sweetener. Okay, I'm going to get that. Lake Canada. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So guys, it is 4.30. We don't want to keep you more than an hour at any time. So let us go ahead and shut it down now. We will see you tonight at um, 7.30 uh, Central for Dr. G.J. Roz uh, or 8.30 um, um, uh, Eastern, 9 o'clock at the top of the hour Eastern. We will begin the presentation so enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much, Doris. You're welcome. Make it a great one. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Okay. okay.